So the other thing that we want to do today is increasing and decreasing functions. You would have seen something uh, related to this in uh, the worksheet as well. There's something that's called increasing and decreasing functions. We've actually done something similar in quadratics before. So remember when you have when we used to have a, uh, graphs like this, you know, a parabola that looked something like this, for instance, or a parabola that looked like this. If we cut that from the middle, remember these are symmetrical curves, symmetric curves from center here this is sort of line of reflection the graph is basically cut into two parts here if this is the turning point this is let's say the minimum point of the graph and let's say this is the maximum point of the graph your graph is cut into two different parts, right? There's one part towards the left here, uh, and the, the, there's the other part that's towards the right of this. And remember in quadratics and also in functions, we talked about uh, what happens on both sides of the graph. So your turning point, your curve changes its direction. So on the left, for instance, towards the left of this line, your gradient was negative, no? You draw any tangent here, you see the direction of the curve uh, on this side, the gradient is basically negative, right? You're going down as, as X moves towards right, the value of Y is decreasing. So the gradient is negative here. What is happening on the right as you cross this turning point and you go towards the right side of the graph, your gradient becomes positive. And that is what is actually happening at the turning point. Turning point, the direction of the graph is changing. That means your gradient was negative before, then uh, it becomes zero at this point, at the turning point, and then it increases like this, a positive ojata skip up. Okay. Similarly, in the other shape here, what, what's happening is on the left side here, your gradient is positive, right? Because as you move right, the y value is increasing, y coordinate is increasing, so the gradient is positive. And what is happening towards the right side, on this side? Turning point ke baad, your gradient becomes negative, you know? Now there's another name for this type of, uh, uh, um, uh, there's another name for this property basically that gradient being negative, you can say your function is basically decreasing in this part. So if you look at just this part here, in this region, towards the left of uh, the turning point in this case, your function is actually decreasing. Why is it decreasing? It's decreasing because as we move along the x-axis, the x-axis here, you know? this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis, let's say. As you go towards the right, the value of y is basically decreasing. That's why it's called a decreasing function in this region. Similarly, what's happening here is, on the right side, your function is increasing. Okay? And applying the same logic here, since the, the gradient is positive here, we say the function is increasing here. And as we go towards the other side of the turning point, we say the function is decreasing here. So the idea is whenever uh, the gradient is positive, you say the function is increasing. And whenever the gradient is negative, you say the function is decreasing. 
So positive gradient means it's an increasing function and negative gradient means it's a decreasing function. Okay, so that's some that's another uh, very simple point that you also need to know about. Now, in case of a quadratic function, unless you restrict its domain, you cannot say it's uh, either increasing or decreasing because it has both parts in it. it, it it's, at some point, it's decreasing, and in, at another point, it's increasing. So, if you were to not, if you were not uh, given a restricted domain. You would say this function is neither increasing nor decreasing because uh, we cannot say for sure. If we were to consider a random point on this graph, uh, we do not know whether we would be increasing at that point or decreasing at that point. So quadratic may either you say it's both increasing and decreasing at certain points, or you can say it's neither increasing nor decreasing because this not a single thing that's happening. It's 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 uh, decreasing at some point, it's increasing at, at another point. So don't know cheese a possible thing. But there are other types of functions, for example, straight lines that may look like this. So increasing graphs, some possibilities are when you have uh, straight lines, for instance. So you could have a line like this. Right now, this is always increasing. Right, but if you have a straight line that looks like this, that is like always decreasing. You negative side, bajari. Okay, it's a gradient negative. Similarly, we have cubic graphs like this. So uh, y equals x cubed, for instance, the graph of that function looks like this. So it's coming up, it's always increasing. The gradient is never becoming negative here. The gradient is never negative here. So you can say this function is always increasing. And in the other case, you could also have a cubic graph that looks like this. This, you can say this is always decreasing, right? So the gradient in these cases is positive, and the gradient in this case, this uh, in these cases is negative. Okay, so this is a point that you need to know. Increasing functions may the gradient is positive, right? And decreasing functions the gradient is negative. Now, how does it relate to uh, derivatives differentiation? Now, derivatives give you the gradient. So if I were to write down an equation here, that is y equals x cubed plus, let's say, 2x. Let's say I've got this equation, right? If you were to ask to show that this function is an increasing function. How would you go about doing that? You've got this function, y equals x cubed plus 2x. What you need to do is you need to show that this function is an increasing function. What you need to do is you need to find the gradient of this function or you gradient to prove that it is always positive. And that would uh, sort of in, uh, so, uh, prove that the, uh, the function is an increasing function. Because increasing function, we just discussed, increasing function means the gradient has to be positive. Gradient should be positive, right? So what we do here is if we find the gradient, gradient case of we find the derivative, that's dy over dx. So what does that turn out to be here? That is 3x squared plus 2. This is what you get here, right? 
But how do we show that this is always positive? Is there a way to show that? Values of x, like uh, press input value of one, and see what the answer is for that gradient, and then put another value of x and see what the gradient is. If both are positive, we can assume that this is an increasing function. Uh, okay, but that doesn't really prove it. Uh, you will have to take like an infinite number of values because uh, it's not like uh, you have to prove that for every value of x. Uh, this function is increasing. Now, yes. Sir, since x is uh, squared, we can say that for any value of x, it will always be positive. Exactly. So you cannot take certain points and make a conjecture there because I can, uh, you know, how can you be sure by just taking a few points? Okay, for every other point, it's also going to be positive. You can just, you cannot just assume that. So uh, you'll have if you were to go that way, you'll have to prove for every possible single point, which is like uh, not possible. You cannot do that. There's an infinitely many possible number of points, so you cannot do that. Do it that way. You have to have some logic here. Uh, okay, why this should always be positive? So you've got plus two here. This is a positive number, so that's uh, okay. We just need to be sure about this thing. So that's three x squared. Now, since it's a square, we can say this is always going to be positive. Three is positive. Hai. Positive number multiplied by a square. Square can be negative. Whatever value of x you input here. So that means this is also positive. So you just need to state here x square is uh, uh, a basically a squared expression. So you can be negative. Because of that reason, the whole thing is going to be greater than zero. So your derivative is greater than zero. Since the derivative is greater, greater, uh, greater than zero, that means the gradient is greater than zero, which implies it's an increasing function. Okay. So that's another point that I wanted to mention here. Similarly, you could do the decreasing function as well, in which you will have to prove that something that the gradient is always negative. You could have those cases as well. Decreasing over. Yes, of course, that's also possible. So you see, function mm -hmm. So if, if you had this function, for example, if you had f of x equals, let's say, minus uh, 4x cubed minus 7x, you could prove that this is always negative. Now, so gradient find kare, you pass. A negative square aega, so it's a derivative of the minus four into three into x square minus seven, which is minus 12x square minus seven. Now, square positive number, so minus 12x square. This is always going to be negative. So, if dash is negative, so if dash is negative. So you say your function is a decreasing function. So you can use it.